Hello guys and welcome back to FIFA 14 career mode after a long awaited absence from this series. I'm back and we are here today with episode 27 and it is the start of the World Cup. We are going into the World Cup as Colombia. We have been drawn into the group with Sweden, Portugal and the first game is against Sweden. So that will put us against Ibrahimovic in the lineup. We have Vargas in goals, Arias, Meza, Zapata, Almero in defence, Guarín, Cuadrado, Babano, James Rodriguez, Jackson Martinez, and Radamel Falcao in the starting lineup. An affordable match against today against Sweden, which would like to get off to a great start. And as you're about to see, we do that as Martinez is played through by Rodriguez. And three minutes into the game, and we have the lead. Not even five minutes into the first half, we get a first goal. And I went to try to go with a different celebration. But unfortunately, Ultimate Team it does celebrations and Korean mode it does different for some reason. You see here, we're going to go for another one as we get our second goal in the 16th minute. Celebrations, we're just not having it today. But that's not what the main point of on this episode is. The main point is that we are up 2-0 against Sweden. 26 minutes into the game. The ball falls to Ibrahimovic and he hits the post unlucky and it comes back. But they cannot put it in the back of the net. Somehow we survive and keep it out. And another attack from us nearly produces another goal. Unlucky for Falcao to miss the target there. And it brings us to half time and we have the lead in the World Cup against Sweden at halftime. One goal for Martinez, one goal for Babano, the left midfielder, who is the captain for our team at the moment. It should be Falcao, but forgotten to give him the armband before the match started. See, we're pretty dominant in the first half. Six shots, three in target to Sweden's one shot in the possession. Pretty even there. Into the second half, not much happening, but Ibrahimovic looks to attack, but his shot is directly at our keeper. We keep that one out. They look to attack again, there's a fun Gudetti, and Gudetti gets around the defender, gets another round, but fails to pull the trigger back out to Ibrahimovic, puts it out to Olsen on the wing, Olsen crosses it in, but we manage to clear that, the ball falls out to Elm with the head up, but our keeper comfortably holds it there, as we halt their attack. We are attacking one more, look to get another goal, Armero has a shot, but it is saved by the Sweden keeper there. Great save by him, and as a look to make a few subs to just get some plays off, get them a bit fresh, and let some of the subs have a run on on the park on the World Cup. As you see there, Cardenas is a mural on for Martinez and Rodriguez as Sweden make a sub as well. We have a corner. Quadrado will whip this one in, try to find Falcao, and he does, but Falcao's header is inches over the top of the bar. There, unlucky. A few minutes to go. Ibrahimovic dangerous into the area, finds his man. And luckily for us, we have managed to keep that ball out. A bit of drama at the back there as the keeper looked to clear it and it hits the back of the defender, but lucky it goes on a bad angle and goes out as Sweden are making another sub here as they have a corner late into the game. They'll whip in the corner, but unfortunately for them, Ibrahimovic misses the target and that will bring us to full time. First game in the World Cup finals for us and we get a win 2-0 against Sweden Martinez in the third minute and Barbano in the 16th minute striking very early on here giving us a well deserved win for the first game so you see there you're about to see the end game stats which we rightfully and truthfully won there five shots on target two goals for us Sweden managed two shots on target but could not find it in the back of the net either times Possession pretty even, 48-52, pass accuracy, Sweden took us to game in that there. Second game here, and we are coming up against Portugal. Our starting lineup is exactly the same as the last game with Ospina, Cardenas, Torres, Alvarez, Balanta, Quintero, Muriel, and Pajoy on the bench for us here, waiting to get on the field for a few minutes of a run-in. But moving into the game here, and a bit of trouble was expected with coming up against, first of all, Ibrahimovic in Sweden. Handled him pretty well. 
And second coming up, ugly, the best player in the world, Ronaldo. But lucky for us, early on, we are able to get a lead through Quadrado's shot. Straight into the back of the net. No chance for the keeper to keep that one out. Great shot by Quadrado there. Ball on. Holds it. Quadrado makes the run. And the first shot on target in the game results in a goal. And we're up 1-0 there. Portugal look to attack here. They find up Pereira to find in Nani. Nani's shot is at the keeper. And the keeper is able to save and keep the one out there. Miguel Velasco is on the wing looking to cross the ball in. Finds Pereira. He looks to create some space for him here. Cuts the ball into Nani. And we block the shot off. But the keeper outrushes to try and kick the ball out. And unfortunately, the deflected shot off the defender fools the keeper. And it goes straight in over the keeper's head there. Unlucky for him. And Portugal draw a goal back. And it is now 1-1 one, one after half an hour here. But we look to not be down on drawing right now as we look to attack straight from kickoff with Quadrado fighting Martinez to Barbano. Back to Falcao. Falcao puts the ball through for Barbano. Barbano first time shot on his weaker foot. He does have five star weak foot so he's able to bury that with no drama. And straight from kickoff we get back the lead 2-1 for us here now. Quadrado opening the scoring, Nani getting one back, and then Burbano equal light, putting us ahead rather, I'd say. And you see at halftime, the stats are pretty even there. But we are just ahead. 2-1 at halftime, Portugal pushing us, pass accuracy even, possession even, and shots on target and shots even. Really good game this one. Edda on the edge of the box finds William Cavallo who cuts it back for Ronaldo. And Ronaldo, just after half time, equalises for Portugal. And it is now, as it was before, game is tied up even. 2 2 straight after half time. A high scoring game this. And I can let you know there will be more goals to come in this game. As we look to kick off the game here, back on the way. 55 minutes gone. Martinez with a good ball for Quadrado. Quadrado with space to run. Looks to have a shot. And Rui Patricio gets down to knock the ball out of play for a good save from there. And Adrian Silva was coming on for Miguel Velasco as we have the corner. Rodriguez whips it in. Finds Zapata, but Zapata's big head cannot direct it on target. And it is out. We get a free kick here for a questionable foul there, 50-50 decision. We're going to give this to Rodriguez as you saw his intense free kick stats there. Whips this one in and he finds Freddie Guarin, but Guarin's header is off target. But lucky for us, it did get a deflection and we have a corner to find Falcao, but nothing comes with that. Ronaldo on the ball for Portugal, but he loses it to Zapata. Zapata on the ball to Meza. Meza fools one defender. But we can't get the ball through. Nani for Portugal attacking deep on the wing here. And an iffy clearance by Zapata. When in doubt, kick it out. Just to get a bit of breathing side, breathing space for the side here. And there will be a sub being brought on for us here late on in the game. We are bringing on Maconelli Torres for Guarin and Juan Coutinho for Rodriguez. With 15 minutes remaining, Portugal have a corner. Nani standing over it. Nani whips a corner in. Finds a defender, but a bullet of a header is saved by the keeper. Good save, and it comes out to Falcao. Falcao can't do much with it. Ball comes out to the Portugal here. Back to Martinho. Two, two quadrado. Bad pass by him. Finds Adrian Silva, and Adrian Silva puts Portugal in the lead for the first time in this match. Now five-goal game it is now. And we are behind in the scoreline. Not too good at all here now. But. Pepe. Portugal defender makes a costly error. And Martinez can capitalise on that mistake. And bring us back level 3-3 three, three here now. Thank God that Martinez has just saved us there. 
and a six goal game it is now very entertaining game for the fans to watch plenty of goals well worth the admission fee to get in and that is how the game will end it ends a 3-3 draw between the Colombians and the Portuguese Quadrado Martinez and Barbano with the goals for us one Nani Adrian Silva and Cristiano Ronaldo getting the goals for the Portuguese there so you see the end game stats six shots on target for us four shots on target for them Possession 47 53 in favor of them. Pass 76 86 in favor of them again. The only thing is a bit iffy was our defense. They had we let them have four shots and they scored three of them. Final game in the group stage is against the Scots. That's right, we're coming up against Scotland here. Pretty similar starting lineup as before. The all group stages we have had the exact same starting lineup with the exact same players on the bench waiting to get a run in and we need to win this game to top the group as we are in four points and Portugal are versing Sweden in the other game so 20 minutes into the game Arias is on the ball whips it in can he find Falcao and Falcao in the third game of the group stage gets his first goal in this World Cup finals here finally one of the best strikers in the world leaves his mark on the game and Falcao again through, and his shot, his dribbles off the post there. Unlucky for Falcao to miss out on a double there. As we look to put the ball back into the box, Arias tries a shot. It is deflected, and we do have a corner here. Rodriguez on the corner, looks to find someone in the box, whips it in, tries to find Zapata, unlucky not to. The ball falls to Quadrado, who takes an iffy shot. It is blocked, falls back to Arias. Arias sends a ball over to Falcao. Falcao can't find his man and Scotland break. Scotland have a corner here with Darren Fletcher standing over it. They whip it in to try to find Charlie Mulgrew. It falls out to Darren Fletcher again. Not Darren Fletcher, sorry, the other Fletcher. can't remember his first name, sorry for that. Martinez though. For Colombia to put the third goal in and he can't do it but Quadrado. A bit of drama in the box there, and Quadrado can put the ball in the back of the net and give us a 3 0 cushion. About to move into half time, and it does look like there that we will be winning this game like we needed to to top the group. Unlucky for Scotland, they will not be getting any points in this year's World Cup as it looks like at the moment. See the complete domination, we've had seven shots. Scotland have only managed one. And that comes from the corner, if I can remember. Half time here, 2-0. And we are in complete control. So you see in the other game, Portugal are leading 2-0 at half time against Sweden. So we do need to win this game and win this game by a fair few goals. We need to win this game by four goals if we want to top the group on goal differential we also hopefully Sweden can get the draw against Portugal and let us top the group no drama but Portugal hold on we need four goals to win and top the group here Armero on the wing whips it in finds Martinez and Martinez's second effort puts the ball into the back of the net off his head gives us the third goal of the game and we are in complete control at the moment Rodriguez James Rodriguez the unsung hero of the Colombian national team gets his goal in the 66th minute here. Great goal by James Rodriguez. And that does give us our fourth goal here at the moment. Five minutes ago, Rodriguez threw again, takes a shot, and Rodriguez's bullet of a shot is struck off the crossbar as we make two substitutions, giving a few of the youngsters a little run on the pitch. Doesn't really matter at the end. We win. 4-0, Falcao, Quadrado, Martinez, and James Rodriguez getting goals there. Falcao and Rodriguez getting their first goal in the World Cup Finals. Martinez getting his third, I do believe, and Quadrado getting his second. Good game by the Colombians there, outplaying the Scots. As you see the stats there, we completely dominated them in shots there. We had 13 shots, 9 on target. They only managed 2 shots, 1 on target in the end. 
They did have more possession than us, and they completed more pass accuracy than us, but in the end, it didn't matter. All that mattered was that we got the win there, and rightfully deserved. As you can see in the bottom right corner, we topped the group on, group on goal differential. Portugal go through with us in second place, and Sweden miss out with one win, and Scotland go out of the group stages with no points at all. See, we will be showing now the squad report for the first month of the new year. No one's really gone up changes. I don't expect anyone to go up, but there is a few downgrades going on, unfortunately. The older players, Frankie Lampard and John Terry, getting declined a bit. As Pulcreta going up in attributes there, that's, so that's good for him to see. Thomas, Carlos, Josh McCacker, and Isam Faraz, Christensen, Cancelo, a few of the youngsters there. Haven't, we haven't loaned anyone out for the new season yet, so you'll see the whole squad at the moment. Theobot Courtois, Marin Moses Hutchinson, and Ashley Cole there. So this does bring the end to episode 27 of FIFA 14 Career Mode. Sorry I've taken so long to get this episode out, but I hope you all do enjoy having Career Mode back in the sub boxes most of the time, and I will see you guys next episode.